Alrighty. Okay. Hopefully it's not too loud. I think I'm going to turn it down a bit. <laughs> it, I feel like it might be loud. Put it down. Down there, maybe. <laughs> All right. But hello, everybody. Hello. We're playing uh, Valhalla tonight. Um, I'm excited. We haven't played it in a while. Okay. So I can't remember if we read everything. We might not have. What's a nano camo? Something to liven up things in this room. Right. So we bought the uh, the uh, wallpaper. <laughs> Hi, Thorn. Congrats on being first. How are you, dear? It's good to see you. Let me know if the game's too loud. And thank you for being here. Alarms rises the Apollo Trust Bank suffers terrorist attack. Updating. Oops, say is alright. Oh yeah, something happened at the, the bank last time. I remember. I remember now. <laughs> Uh, by Kimberly La Rollette. Hijacked screens. Downtown Cas. Hijacked screens at downtown Casanova announced what seems to be a terrorist threat aimed at the Apollo Trust Bank. The information suggests that a currently unidentified bomber is already inside the building. The White Knights Counterterrorism Unit responded to the threat immediately. Thank you for the work, Thorn. Thank you, dear. However, the bank was then locked down by an external network attack. We might be dealing with a dual threat here, CTU's Chloe Bauer told AE. The bank has been sealed shut using its own disaster prevention system. Hi, Brad. Hi, dear. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you've been doing all right. Let me know if the volume's too loud, too, too quiet. Let me know. Tired? I'm sorry, dear. I hope you get some sleep soon, but alive, I'm glad you're alive. <laughs> perfect is perfect, okay. However, none of the terminals of the bank were working at the time. The building was basically sealed at this point. The hostages are trapped. And the augmented eye is being attacked. BRB, okay. By AE staff. Hi, everyone. We take our security seriously here at the Augmented Eye. And we have the obligation to disclose that recent articles on Alice Rabbit were vandalized by who we think is Alice Rabbit themselves, or a very good impersonator. We want to extend our apologies and inform that we'll be limiting our coverage of Alice Rabbit to just factual news and not entertainment pieces. Sincerely, the AE staff. Thank God I don't pay those fuckers for a job uh, for a sub. <laughs> Pollution to reach historic levels next year. How long till someone says pollution is good? There's a book <laughs> by Kimberly La, La Valette. Even though most countries in the world have adapted their economies to solve the ongoing problem of climate change. Glitch City still relies on ancient technologies in order to keep costs low with profits high. As a result of this backwards policy, it seems as though we'll be experiencing a huge increase in air pollution next year. Our contamination levels will force the whole population to move away from a lot of areas within the city. The soil is dying at an alarming pace, said experts in a report. Having to buy special raincoats and umbrellas does suck, but experts say you, you better get used to it. All right, so we only get three articles. Okay, I've been lucky to never have that kind of problem with the white with the white knights. I guess a white knight just beat me up. I'm fucking crying right now. Let me tell you the story. Waiting for Opie to deliver. I'm here. 
Anyway, here it goes. I was going home after buying groceries at the store. I was very tired because I had to line up for hours just to buy milk. And when I'm finally out of there, a group of three white knights stopped me and started asking for my ID. And also wanted to see my bag to check if, there, if I wasn't a scalper. And once they saw everything was in order, they asked me for a military service ID. And I just... What the fuck? Why would I have that on me? And there's no... No enforced conscription anymore. It doesn't make sense. And because I didn't have it on me, they asked for for money or else they'd plant drugs on me. I, of course, refused, but they'd lose their patience. <clears throat> and one of them hit me right in my temple with a gun. I was bleeding like crazy on the floor, so they just took my groceries and left. Holy shit, man. I fucking hate this place. I hate it so much. I want to leave this fucking hellhole. <laughs> I'm so tired of this shit every fucking day. This thread is closed. Screaming Chan Thread. That sounds shady when they put it that way. Did anyone else see last night's escapade? She was at the Valhalla bar. It was alright. Bartender was a cutie, but man, is she full of herself. Don't care. I'm going next week and ask her, and ask her for a date. We all know you won't. Pretty sure nobody here has the guts to ask someone out. Is she still sleeping? Yeah, the bartender has been telling everyone they need to be careful with their words, lol. I wonder if there's a legal activity going on there. Like, why would you need to be careful what you say? Maybe they're avoiding casual racism. True. Still, it wouldn't be rare for them to do shading, shady stuff. This fucking city. Haha. <laughs> At least she's sleeping now. Last, last time I saw her talking some... <clears throat> Excuse me. Taking some rest was about a week ago. Crash is one hell of a drug. Apollo Bank is getting attacked. May the gods guide say to safety. And no one is reporting on it? Are you actually surprised? Considering the nature of their threats, it's clear that, Quin that Quincy doesn't want to take the blame. What a fucking coward. Hi Toto, hi DR. Mwah. How are you? Good to see you. Do we have any sources there? I'm posting from the site. It looks like someone's inside the bank with a huge bomb threatening to blow up the building. Excuse me. Red. <laughs> Let me drink some water. Red. 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 Any demands? They want Quincy to quit and the White Knights disbanded. Wow. So they're actually helping the protesters? Um, that's not the way to help the people. What if this is just a huge false flag to blame the opposition? I wouldn't be surprised. This fucking place, lol. Let's wait for more info. But it's closed. Ohana? Ohana means family. And if she has some. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guess we'll uh, go to work. Saturday, December 17th. Good evening. Huh? I didn't expect you today. I was waiting for you to call and say you wouldn't be coming or something. Things at the Apollo Bank are getting ugly, so that means more people will be looking for a drink. You can take a break, you know. You're quite the hard worker. And the streets are not exactly safe right now. They've never been when you get down to it. And besides, I can't afford to not come with the bar closing soon. I wonder if any bar has, has used impending closure as a means to getting their employees to work. <laughs> Seems like the total opposite would happen. Not to mention I get bored out of my brains in my apartment, so I'd rather come here anyway. What did you say? Nothing important. Gil isn't back yet? Nope. I wouldn't worry too much, too much about him, though. But uh, how are you, Tedo? How are you, dear? It's good to see you. Are you playing anything tonight? I say so. The girl's still here? Yep. She was sleeping so peacefully, I felt bad about waking her up. So, would you mind doing that for me? 
actually yes i mind metro exodus nice that's a good game <laughs> i really like the uh, exodus i've played all of them but i think exodus was my favorite so i i played uh i played through exodus first because it was on game pass or something i don't remember <laughs> But I played through that first, and then I played the first one, and then I played uh, Redux or the second one, the, with the, with the yellow one. <laughs> They're pretty good. Also very scary. <laughs> but you're the boss, and it's kind of my fault she's here in the first place. I color <laughs> The, 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 there's a Metro game with a yellow logo. It was free on Steam a couple weeks, like a month ago. I might stream it. I don't know. <laughs> Have you played through Exodus before? Is this your first time? Metro Universe is scary? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it is. Are you just starting? Wait, right, one second. Okay, I see, I see. Um, Exodus is very fun. I really, I like it a lot. Um, we can talk about it when you finish. Because <laughs> I don't want to spoil anything. But you're the boss, and it's kind of my fault she's here in the first place. So I can play through since release, and I'm going to after Lone Ranger Trophy. Hardest, I see, I see. You know the story? Okay. <laughs> So, I don't know who else is here, uh, but spoiler alert for uh, Metro Exodus. <laughs> um, it's very good. You should play it if you haven't yet. Um, but uh, the, the ending, when you're in the van, oh my goodness. <laughs> I, got, I got so excited. I got pumped up at the ending because you're in the van and then that music's playing. Like, go! 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 Because uh, I'm pretty sure if you don't get there fast enough, she, they'll die. <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, it is. It is something. And then there's the, uh, the section where you have to go to like a facility with no lights. And you only have your flashlight and it's full of the uh, scorpion spider things that th that part oh my goodness <laughs> that was that was something yeah like uh i went in without even knowing there was a bad ending or that you could even like mess up <laughs> to get the bad ending so, um, because at the beginning, when you're getting back on the train on the bridge, when you're in, in you jump, the one gets fall. I never finished the DLC. I never did. I can't remember if I bought it on my Xbox or if it was just because I was on Game Pass. I can't remember. Um, I think I had the, I bought the, the, I bought Exodus, but I was playing the DLC because it was on Game Pass or something. I can't remember. <laughs> Maybe someday. Maybe someday. We can play through the Metro games. Because it's been a while since I've played them. But, uh, yeah, the game's very good. <laughs> it's so cool. I like it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a good time. Sorry about that. Hey, young lady, sleep another hour and we'll have to start charging you a motel fee. Streaming time. Uh, where am I? Oh, right. Hmm. 
It's a shot at downtown bar. Let's see. Oh my god, is it please? And neither my pants nor my panties, shirt, or bra have been displaced. Oh, it's the fat bar bartender. Good morning. Good evening. Evening? Oh, oh well. It's the best night or day of sleep I've had in quite some time. Sorry for all the trouble I may have caused you today or last night. D don't worry. You're so nice, flat bartender. Thanks for taking care of me. Bye! Oh, my goodness. Ugh. That actually made me yawn. My eyes are watered. <laughs> Hello guys and gals, Jimmy Chan's back in action with their batteries reloaded. Ah, the moon, it burns! I feel, I feel like I've just unleashed something terrible onto the world. Come on, it's not that bad. Say, what's this bottle? A client gave it to me yesterday. A gift of sorts, I'm guessing. Oh, cool. It's some sort of rum. Rum? Nice! Want me to serve you a bit of it? Hmm. Yeah, sure. Through the bottle, drink some drag it to the shaker before mixing. Grandpa booze. Serve. Here. All right. I'm gonna enjoy this in my office. Thanks. Anytime. Okay, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll just start. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I say how how I'm doing? I don't know if I answered you, Teddo. I'm good. I'm good. I ate a whole uh, Domino's pizza and uh, <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm tired. <laughs> it took a lot out of me. I did some a bit of sewing today. I'm working on some puppet arms. Time to serve mix and drink lives. Wait, that's not how it goes. Ah, no one here to retort. Man, I feel so lonely without Gil here. I just hope the, the restlessness in the streets doesn't look, lead to dangerous or weird types coming in here. <laughs> Cue the dr brain in the jar. Yeah. I usually eat like half the thing and eat the rest the next day, but I was too hungry. <laughs> yeah, that's a, I'm working on a, another puppet. So the, the puppet I put up on Twitter, I just folded a piece of the felt in half and hot glued it together. Um, with these arms for this new puppet, I gave it fingers and a thumb. And I'm sewing it. And then I'm going to try to put like a rope or something through there. Give it a bit more uh, girth. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Good evening. Holy shit. That was a record breaking jinx. Oh, oh, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? I'll have a blue fairy. Don't make a drink about becoming real. Don't make a drink about becoming real. On it. Let's give this um, brain a blue fairy. Uh, blue fairy. Aged. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, 
There we go. Nice. Yeah, this is the thing. So, um, how are you gonna... Oh, you can grab stuff. Should have figured as much. You can drink stuff. And eat. I have the same system Lilim do. Can I ask you something, uh, or er, Miss... Taylor. Call me Taylor. Just Taylor. And yes, I cued you like you can ask me anything. Okay, Taylor. You have to be the first person I've met that didn't go, Okay, just Taylor. Nah, too easy. You are a brain in a jar, right? Oh, do I need to move this? Is it is the uh, QR code in the way? Let me know if it's in the way. I don't want it to be in the way. I'm sure not a hologram of that, I'm sure. Yep, I'm a bona fide human brain in a jar. So, how? Why? What, does my handsomeness make you speechless? You're not something a girl sees every day. And that's saying quite a bit in these parts. Fear not, for I have a speech prepared for these situations. A speech? You're seeing one of the five great living bottled brains of the world. We are brains living in conditions that allow us to exist as any other humanoid creature. All well computers in our jars scan our activities. In a slow but steady manner, we are helping the world understand the inner workings of nature's most complex computer. I'm guessing you prepared that after being asked the same question too many times, huh? Not out of ex exasperation or anything like that, mind you. I just wanted to have something thoughtful prepared. Look, I even have a couple of pamphlets with me. You want one? Sure. What brings us one of our world's five brains and jars to this place, though? Oh, I'm from around here, actually. I just wanted to take a walk for the first time in... For a bit of time. Have you come here before? Sadly, no. Otherwise, I remember a cute face like yours. Speaking of which, can I have your name? Um, it's Jill. Jill? That's a really cute name. Thank you. Say, weren't you scared of going outside today? With, with the commotion around and all? It didn't stop you from coming here either, did it? Yeah, you're right. It's going to take more than cryptic but ominous news to stop me. You're awfully energetic. Did you know that? Sorry, does that bother you? No, not at all. Just that I figured a brain in a jar wouldn't be so happy. While I was alive, my body got to a point where there wasn't much I could do. This new state of existence allows me to accomplish more than I ever could before. Plus... I'm doing something that'll help people in the long run. Won't you be happy? Hmm. I wonder. Do you want to make me happy, Jill? Depends on what it takes. Don't worry, just give me a beer. Alright, then yeah, I'll make you happy. One beer to make Taylor happy. Traditionally blue brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. Hold the hide, two Bronson, one powder Delta, two Flangeride, and four Karmatrine. Here, a beer. Oh yes, no matter what happens, beer's always good. It's interesting, though. Just yesterday, I was talking to a client about brain uploads. You were? Yeah, we were talking about how, even if you uploaded your brain, you'd still be here. I've thought about that, too. Do you think that you and the cybernetic environment would feel like she was indeed transferred? Like, would she remember everything? Like, waking up somewhere else and so on? Hmm, that's an interesting question. I was actually thinking earlier about being able to transfer someone's brain into a lilum. One of the brains is being used in such an experiment, actually. They can make a functional lilum. 
Unfortunately, the wiring and other such stuff makes it look more creepy than anything. They aren't transferring his identity or anything, just wiring him to a body. Oh. You'd think someone would rather do that than fool around exposed in a jar. I have to admit, the whole brain thing does look creepy. But the body I'm telling you about is just uncanny looking. Speaking of uncanny, how do you feel when you saw yourself like this for the first time? A Long Island? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I would if I could, floof. I don't think I have a recipe for that. <laughs> but hi dear, how are you? It's good to see you. I hope you've been doing alright. Yeah, I, I know nothing about alcohol. <laughs> I don't. I'm just playing an anime game. <laughs> Long week having a peach brandy? Nice. That sounds good. My dad really likes uh, peach rings. I like peach rings. Got the weekend off? Nice. That's good. How am I doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I, uh... I ate a whole pizza today. And, uh, I'm feeling... I'm tired. <laughs> it took a lot out of me. And I did some, uh, sewing. On one of my puppet's arms. I'm trying something different. Um... Yeah. I'm excited to see how it turns out. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, olive and green pepper pizza. It was pretty good. It was Domino's. But you never learned to sew? Yeah, my... I took a... Uh, I need to turn down the, the volume. I, got, I gotta turn it down. I can't hear myself. <laughs> I can't hear myself. Alright, this is better. Um, I took a couple of classes in school. In junior high, they made us do, like, uh, take a class in our first year of junior high. Uh, where you'd change a subject, like, every term or semester or something. Uh, you'd learn, like, uh, spreadsheets and how to use Word and PowerPoint and that stuff in a computer lab then you went to the uh home ec rooms uh in another term or whatever after a couple months and then you learned how to cook and sew i think maybe it was just cooking actually i don't remember <laughs> And then uh, you'd go to the woodshop class to learn machinery and stuff like that. And then in high school, I took a uh, I took a sewing class. Um, that was in junior high. <laughs> in high school, I took a sewing class my senior year. I think it was my senior year. That or my junior year. Uh, I made a quilt. That's the biggest thing I've ever made. It took me weeks. <laughs> I had to bring it home over the weekend just to sew it. Just so I'd finish it in time. Um, it's not that good, honestly. But uh, I did my best. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you learned... That. I think we did some hand sewing, but it was mostly with a machine. Uh made a uh, drawstring bag just a little one and an apron um it's okay like it it's it's got holes and stuff because i missed some stitching for some for whatever reason i i did <laughs> um some of the seams are a little weird and off uh but uh, 
with my puppets I'm hand sewing them because if I use a, a sewing machine uh, it the seam is too visible and uh, there's it gives it too much seam allowance inside the puppet so I'm hand sewing it at uh, the one on my Twitter uh, sewing that thing took at least four hours <laughs> at least four hours but it was it's fun I'm working on a, uh, a second one because I changed the pattern a little on the nose the the face area because uh, I wanted to make it a little more smooth and uh, the one that, the second puppet I've got has a bit of a, a nose like a hooked nose <laughs> it's cute Kind of looks like a fraggle. I like it. Right now I'm working on his arms. Um, but yeah. <laughs> That'll take me probably another day or two. Maybe another day. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. It was quite a shock, actually. It didn't last too long, though. I never was to attach my body. But uh, hand sewing, at least for me, it's not that hard because I've done sewing before. But I could see it being intimidating for people. Hi, Jay Bent. Hi, dear. How are you? I hope you're doing all right. What's up? Not much. I ate a whole pizza today. <laughs> and I did some sewing. How are you, dear? I never was to attach my body. Later in my life, that was almost literal. You know what the downside to this body is? I can't get drunk. If you want to call that a downside. <laughs> you really? Oh my goodness. Eight hours? So they streamed in the morning and in the evening or something, and you just stayed in the offline chat the whole day. <laughs> I see, I see. Oh, you commit to the bit. I respect that. I respect that. If you want to call that a downside. You always commit to the bit? I, yeah. <laughs> That's a very J-Bent thing to do. It makes sense. If you want to drink alcohol for the taste, there are many alternatives. Drunkenness is the par is part of the whole experience. Why, though? Lilum can, can get drunk with no problem. Yeah, but in their case, their brain's a computer attached to their body. Getting drunk causes their brains to reduce the input speed to their bodies. Depending on the model, their drunk subroutine might throw in a different behavioral cycle even. It's hard to get drunk when the whole point of you being in a jar is figuring out exactly how you work. You drink for the taste? It makes sense. Getting tipsy is a perk? I see, I see. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Jill. Oh, Alma. Just... Oh, Alma. Where's the courtesy... One would expect from a ple ple plebeian bar staff. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Happy? Now when you put it that way. Why, hello there, beautiful. Hmm? Whoa! You hurt my feelings with that, darling. This is sorry. You don't see talking disembodied brains every day. I mean... I did work a summer in Lilla maintenance, but even then, those were talking heads. Oh, don't worry about it. At least you're not running or fainting. Your name was Elma, right? I'm Taylor. N nice to meet you, Taylor. Say, Elma, can I buy you a drink? Sorry, but I only date people who are at least 50% organic and, late, and have at least one face. Hmm. I know just what to strive for, then. Just kidding. It made me happy to make you happy by buying you a drink. Does that bother you? I guess if Jill's the bartender, I don't have a problem with that. Awesome. I'll pay for your next drink then. 
What will you have? I'll have a cobalt velvet. And you, Taylor? I'm fine, actually. You gonna have me drink alone? I don't wanna drink that much. Okay, then. Straight from Taylor to Elma. Let me drink some water. <laughs> and my mouth's getting dry. It's like a champagne served in a cup that had a bit of cola left. Hmm. All on the rocks. Okay. Two Adelheid. Adelheid. Three Flangerite. And five commentary. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> All right. Your drink. Hope you enjoy it. You know, you've been nicer to me than these past minutes than at least three guys have been in the last year. Judging by, from the way you two talk, I'm guessing you've been a client here for a while now, right? Only for about half a year or so, if memory serves, right? Really? One would think it's been longer. <sighs> it feels like it's been longer. Shut up. You love me and you know it. So, you just started coming here and that was it? Well, the first time I came here, the other guy... Speaking of which, where's Pablo? Gillian. Archimedes. Don't know. We're adventuring or something. Anyways, the other guy served me the first... First time I came here, nothing unusual there. The next time I showed up, Jill here was the one serving in... I don't know. I feel like she just gets me. There's this chemistry. We click. We click, she says. The fact that I feel more chemistry with her than with many other people is kind of sad, though. It's always good to see a nice friendship. Sadly, it's getting late and I've got to go. I love you two lovely ladies alone. See ya. Bye. Please come again. That Taylor sure was nice. A bit weird at first, though. Apparently one of the five brains being studied by scientists or something. There's a summary of it in this pamphlet. Let's see. Oh yeah, I've heard of them before. Can't believe I actually met one. <sighs> say, Alma, how many people are, are there in your family? Just curious. Well, aside from my mom and dad, we're five sis star sorry, four sisters and one brother. Funnily enough, we all have names that start with the first five letters in the alphabet. So you're the eldest one? No, I'm actually the middle kid. You're the middle kid, but your name starts with an A? Don't think too much about it, I never said the order reflected our ages. My sister Carlotta's got the eldest one, and then there's Diana just before me. Then comes Eva, and at the bottom lies Bill. <coughs> Sorry, the youngest one is Bernand Bernardo. You've never met. You've never been alone, I'm guessing. You can't complain about that, I guess. It helps that we were never five in the same house. By the time Evita and Bernie were born, Diana and Carlotta had already moved. Speaking of family, today I came because I needed a break from everything that's been going on with them. Do you, do you live with them? No, but if you didn't, Bernie do. Not to mention I visit them almost every day. Anyway, my second eldest sister, Diana, was just separated from her husband. It's not even been a week, but she's already got some other guy in her bed. She left her kid with her husband's parents and pretty much forgot about them. Never mind the fact that they need to go to school and all that. Damn. Damn, this life has always been messy. But these days, she's literally making it big. Really making it big. She wants time for herself to live her life. She didn't think about that when she married a guy at 20. She didn't think about that when marrying a guy that she'd only known for like three months. 
You should take your own advice. Hey, I'd never marry someone who could catch my attention so quickly, okay? Sure, there was that one time when it almost happened, but I blame the damn st stadium kiss cam. Kiss cam? I was going out with a guy my little sister introduced to me. Seems he was her friend's brother or something. We went out a couple of times and invited me to a basketball game. The mood was nice, but then later the kiss cam focused on us and instead of kissing me, he proposed. I was got caught in the mood and accepted. Huh. So I take it you rejected him in a stadium on the fucking kiss cam? We went out for like three weeks. I don't know. Maybe he wanted to get in my pants with the old sex on the wedding night line. But I honest to God can't understand why I thought it would be a good idea. That sounds too convoluted, you know. Proposing and waiting for the wedding night just for sex. Never underestimate the lengths a man is willing to go to get you in their bed. I've seen more convoluted plots over the years. I'm feeling tempted to ask, but I'll pass. Want anything else? Hmm? What's that bottle? Oh yeah, it's just the rum that a client gave me yesterday. A gift? What did you do? A good enough service, I'm guessing. ka -siku? Huh, interesting name. What does it mean? Kasaku's the name of the chieftain in some native tribes. <laughs> Guys, this is what... Right? I see. Do you want me to serve you some of this? I'll pass. I don't have too many good memories where or, or rum's involved. Give me a fringe weaver instead, will you? Alright. Wonder what's up with her and rum. Anyways, let's just give her a fringe weaver. Delheim, aged, and nine character. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's like drinking eth ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. It's mixed. One French weaver. What kind of memories do you have with rum? Nothing you need to worry about. Okay. Alright, now it's my turn to ask questions. About what? What kind of family is your family? Well, I'm an only child. My mom and my dad split am am <laughs> amicably. My mom is a violinist, so she is always so she was always away from home with the orchestra. I spent most of my time with my dad, my aunt, and my grandpa. Aside from that, I'd say my childhood childhood was quite uneventful. Huh? Didn't you get something like your mom's artistic vein or something? I played the violin until I was around 16, I think. What made you stop? I don't know. Just kind of said, that's it, one day and stopped. What about cousins or the rest of your, of your family? I see very little of them, actually. Mainly because my dad moved away from most of them. Most of my mom's family live in France to boot. So your mom's French? Yep. Can you speak French? I can't say that. <laughs> I can't say that. Let me drink some water. I don't know if Twili or Gilma are here. I don't want them to be mad at him. <laughs> if they're going to say this really wrong. Okay. I don't think they're here. Ma irog the sior is playing the angulis. Oh, what does that mean? Rubbish? I don't know. I can't speak French. I did try though, but college started and I stopped taking classes. Funny thing, I actually have a cousin from my mom's side that lives close by. But you'll be hard pressed to make me spot him in a crowd. You're kind of lucky, you know. All my mom's side of the family lives here.
the chances of me meeting someone I'm related to on the street are ridiculously high. But yeah, that's the primer on my family. Nothing too interesting, sadly. Your mom's a French violinist and you call that uninteresting? I'm wondering if your family has ever made a fuss about you being a hacker. Hacker makes it sound too exotic. Like if I called you a mixologist. Please don't. Ever. Sounds like something somebody would say to make bartenders sound sophisticated. See? I mean, hacker is a good way to summarize it, but it's not the best. I'm a security consultant. People want to find flaws in the security of their systems, and I do my best to pinpoint where it breaks. Be it Glitch City or anywhere else in the world, they need security, I'm their woman. Excuse me. You've told quite a few stories about cracking into databases to retrieve info like some sort of mercenary, though. That doesn't change the fact that hacker is not the best term to use. It makes the whole thing sound illegal when it's actually an honest job. Didn't you tell me you once secured some incriminating pics up from a guy's cell phone? A mostly honest job. Sheesh. What made you become a hacker, by the way? I've always been a sucker for puzzles. Even as a kid, I always had a Sudoku... Sudoku... So... So... So, Sudoku, or crossword with me. But at some point, they started feeling kind of samey. So, when I started college, I took a course on system security, but it felt like the kind of puzzle I was looking for. I mean, there are all kinds of things involved in breaching net security. You need to attack this stuff from different angles. And it's something that's always evolving. The point of point of everything is to strengthen security. Every time you think you've got the gist of it, they change everything. Hmm. So it's kind of like an always evolving puzzle. A puzzle I help make harder at that. Huh. I didn't think about it that way. It's less action-y than what movies make it up to be, though. No real-time frantic typing, nothing like that. Still, seeing my code break through something, it's an amazing feeling. Will you have a will you have anything else? Hmm. I'll have a classy drink. Any any classy drink. There's nothing. Classy. We'll go with a She just had a French weaver. We'll go with a cobalt velvet. Two Ad Adelheid, Adelheid, three Flandreide, a five comma chain. One, two, three, four, five. Cobalt level. Here you are. Yep, just what I needed. Thanks. Say, Jill. What's the worst that could happen if you don't get your drinks right? Well, people have the right to not give me my money. Give me money. <laughs> if they don't pay for it, I don't get my bonus. No bonus means less money and no tips, which doesn't help because I have to pay bills. Oh, I see. Do you have to make an effort to pay your bills? Nope. You have no idea how much I hate you right now. Well, my job pays, pays pretty well, and I'm not the kind to spend too much on things other than food and bills. Maybe maintenance on my hands and new equipment, but aside from that... Oh, I know. If you have trouble with your bills, why not live with me? We could be roommates. Dunno. Moving my stuff through the stairs because the elevator's broken. Having to move my liquor collection. Never mind the fact that my cat's a shut in and they could... They got very upset the one time I moved some furniture around. The, de the idea of moving just gives me a headache. You shouldn't take things too seriously when I say them, you know. I don't, but I've thought about it before. No. I need some air. No, I need some air. I'm going to take my break. You want to come? Are you inviting me to the back of the bar? You should invite me to dinner first. Every minute you waste making jokes, it's 
is time taken from my break. Fine, let's go. Boss, I'm taking my break. Call me if anyone comes in. Sure, sure. Ooh. I just keep watering because I keep yawning. <laughs> One second. Save. Okay. I eat bread. <laughs> bread, you're a very good bread. You're a very, very good bread, and I'm proud of you. Okay. <laughs> you're a very good bread. It's now safe to keep playing. Breath. 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 <laughs> That's the key emote. Cold, 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 cold. Uh. Shut up. Ta-ta. ta 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 Dusk? Okay. Let's go with this one. Yeah. Ta-da. Well, thank you for the redeems. <laughs> I hope that was okay. Ready. It sure is chilly out there. It's kind of refreshing. The hobo out there seems like a nice guy. Believe right? Yeah, he's a cool guy. Very respectful. Apparently, he got into some legal trouble, and that's why he's like that. Really? He also just not be a very nice crackhead, though. He could also just be a very nice crackhead, though. I have a cousin that lives like a hobo, actually. Really? It's a bit complicated, though. Problem is, his family has tried to get him to live with them, but his pride won't let him accept their help. He'd rather live on the streets for some reason. You can't tell with some people, sadly. Why did he become a hobo in the first place? Bad investments and debts. Bank evicted him from his house. Oh. It's a serious problem because... He has epileptic attacks, but refuses to take his medication. I just don't get what's up with him. Honey, some service here. I'm here, don't scream. Uh-ho? Were you two hanging out at the back of the bar? What kind of stuff were you doing? Just talking. Is that what they call it these days? What do you want? Something soft, something sweet. No alcohol, please. Wouldn't it be the same if you just grabbed a soda from a vending machine? But, uh, you, 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 you. Do you dislike my present so much? Not talking? Oh. <laughs> okay. Right. Not talking. Mm hmm. All right, sweet and alcohol free. Okay, too bad. Too bad. Sweet, light, and fruity, as girly as it gets. Better Delta. Okay. Uh, 
Here, like you asked. See? You don't get this kind of treatment from vending machines. Unless you're Lawrence. But he, he has this weird idea that good service is the same as selling lukewarm cans of so cola. Lawrence? A friend of mine. He's a vending machine. Oh. Oh, but how implied of me. Hmm? I'm lovely and my name's Dorothy. Dorothy Hayes. Nice to meet you. Oh, I'm Elma. The pleasure's mine. Dorothy, you say? Yep. Why? Nothing. I guess I've heard about you before. Really? What kind of stuff? Tell me, tell me. Mostly about your, um, pluckiness. And here I was thinking it was because I'm a sex worker. So much for trying to be subtle. Hey, I take pride in my job. Otherwise, I wouldn't be doing it. Isn't it dangerous? I know how to take care of myself. Thank you very much. Where do you work, Elma? I'm a hacker. Really? A full-fledged hacker? <laughs> Goodness. It was the Valhalla. You know that gun that seems, sees a computer logged into some account says that's hacking, right? No, of course not. I've always been curious about how being a hacker works. Do you just start typing really fast while waiting for something to happen? No. I can explain, but I don't know if you'll get it. We won't know until we try, right? Last time I said that I had had to jam the plastic replica of a hal halogen light light bulb up a grown man's ass. <laughs> a woo! I flew. It was a su success. <clears throat> okay then, let me try to explain in gen in general how it works. Let's say I have to retrieve information from a company's database. All right. First, I do some research on the target, OS, servers, and how the information is stored and all that. There have been a couple of occasions where I had to go in blind, but they're the exception rather than the rule. First, I secure things from my, from my side. I start working behind proxies. Having saucy cheese enchiladas. Nice, that sounds delicious. I start working behind proxies websites and through other more vulnerable computers I find on the way. Uh-huh. After that, I start testing the networks. I go through the basic protocols, tr try known exploits as long as they don't trigger any alarm. Once I've tested the ground, the fun starts. I go through all the security protocols and I look to bypass them. Hmm. <laughs> Sometimes I have to look deeper into the code for the password itself. Uh, I see. Then, when I'm finally in, I go, I go and retrieve the user privileges. After that, I go and try to become a super user and get what I need. Uh, how, how do you do that? Well, there are a couple of ways. I can use a pre-made program to hack into an already existing account. I can use info someone already gave me. But the usual way is using a buffer overflow. B -b -buff. What happens next? What happens next? I create a backdoor in the system before leaving my, leaving and covering my tracks. I, I can't. I can't handle it anymore. Alma, hack me. Hack me like you've never hacked anything before. Eh? Make my buffer overflow. Create a backdoor in me. Escalate your privileges. Find files in my security. Oh, sorry, I got carried away. No shit, what happened? Have you seen those movies or books where a couple does something like paint a picture or cook? But they make it sound like they're having sex instead? Suggestive scenes, yeah. Well, that whole thing was kind of like that for me. Really? I guess humans don't really get it because their minds don't upload to networks or anything. But trust me, if you recorded yourself giving a really detailed explanation on in a really sexy voice, you'd make millions. Horny Lilum are, are an unexploited market. I see. 
Oh, looks like my right's here. Your right? Yep, my brother in law came to look for me. Just started to ask that from him? It's okay. I've known him since preschool. It just so happened that he got married to my sister. Hey, Dorothy, you need a ride? Can you drop me by 3rd Street? Sure, it's on the way. Yay, I'll take your offer then. Bye, honey. Later, Jill. Take care. The street seems noisy. Oh, a client. Hello, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? <laughs> okay. Okay, sir. It's such a small yet comfortable place. Truly an oasis of spiritual drinks in the midst of the suburban desert. A place where lost and corrupt souls can gather to forget their troubles for a while. A nest where everyone from the most pathetic scum to the vilest trash junkie can just sit to kill their insides. Truly a real persona non grata. That's Latin for a mysterious place, by the way. I'm so smart and philosophical. Alright, we got ourselves a persona non grata here. What will we have then? 17. Excuse me? I said 17. 7 plus 18. What does that mean? What does it mean to you? Just to be sure, 17 is about the drink you want, right? Only if you want it to be. 17? The hell does that mean? The 17th drink? Seven plus teen. Okay. So if we just start by the call, do we seventeenth drink? This is a piano man. One second. Okay. Is it the seventeenth drink? Hmm. I guess. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three. All right. How is this a 17? It isn't. You said 17 will be related to your drink if I th thought it was. And I think it isn't. Oh, you subver subverted my expectations by taking me literally. Sneaky. So what brings you here, Mr. Virgilio? I'm a man... Armandito, Armandio, Virgilio. I'm Armandio, Virgilio Armandio. See, I introduced myself using the Asian order because that's a lot more polite. Right. And I came here looking for an otherworldly experience. I was passing by and saw this place is called Valhalla. I want to see the souls of resting warriors, the wounded spirits of noble souls. 
the golden hall full of never-ending banquets, the lively Valkyries looking over them. We have some arcade machines on the, on the corner. No, no, no. You're taking me too literally. You see, I'm being poetic. I'm giving a mystical air to a mundane affair. I wanted to see drunk people. I wanted to see waitresses and food. I wanted to see the bar in all of its decadent glory. Well, you're out of luck. Today's been quite the slow day. Not that I'm very surprised, given how things have been going going in the streets, though. Humans are a nasty bunch. That much is true. Making a ruckus coming at each other. But that's to be expected from the only mammal to kill its own. I'm no zoologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Oh yeah? Then give me an example, non-zoologist bartender. Like I said, I don't know exact details, I just know that it isn't right. If memory serves right, once a lion takes over a pride, every cub born from another lion is killed, or something. Pfft. Takes over a pride. You can't take over pride. Pride isn't a tangible thing. You need to stop making things up, non-zoologist bartender. But going back on topic, do you know what the number 17 means? The atomic number of chlorine? No, and Chloe is a name. Not a number, you know. <laughs> I don't like this guy. <laughs> the group where halogens are in the periodic table? Stop making up words like halogens, periodic, and table. Okay, then I give up. 17 is us. Eh? Every human has 17 pairs of chromosomes. That number is the whole foundation of you and me. It's... 23. What is? Humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes, not 17. Well, they're both primal numbers, so it's the same idea. Primal? Do you want anything else? I like a single plum, filling in perfume served in a man's hat. Okay. In a son of a bitch. <laughs> A fedora with perfume and plum. All right. I don't know what <laughs> this is going to come up again. It's called a fedora. I have to use this one. Here. Ha! Huh, you didn't. Wait, you did. Enjoy. I will. I will drink this um, perfume. You don't really have to. Yeah, that'd be silly. You win this round, bartender. Hey, bartender. Have you ever thought about death? How? What if we're already dead? Both of us. What? What tells you I even existed before I entered that door? How can you assure me that this reality is real and we're not, in fact, in heaven or hell all along? What if everything up to this point is just some stupid story written by an unemployed 20-something in his room? I could punch you to make you feel reality. I don't care about any of that, actually. This reality is real for me, and that's all that matters. Such a close-minded way of seeing things. You need to get away from factual facts. Open your mind to things beyond your reach. You'll never reach enlightenment if you don't start. The habanera has started. It means the twilight of the gods in German, by the way. Well, you're on your own, bartender. Enjoy the new world order. Um, what? A couple of nearby cars exploded, it seems. Oh, hell. Let me take a look out the window. Be careful. I see lots of flashes in the distance. Most likely gunshots. Jill, come here a sec. What? News about five gigabytes of reports proving that several white knight squads have been used to cover. Illegal actions were released to the public by an unknown anarchist group. We're receiving reports of several units going rogue. 
and using their weapons to hunt down anyone they find on the street. Several counter-terrorism forces from the neighboring cities have been dispatched to, in order to subdue the crazy units after a plea from a vice from the vice president. We're still waiting for a declaration from Zaibatsu Corps CEO on the subject, but until then, things are ugly in in and outside of that bank, it seems. I'd recommend you stay here tonight. It's too dangerous to even think about going outside. What if they break in? They won't. Even then, the bar has quite the security system. And I'll be here protecting you as an added bonus. <sighs> yeah, I guess I'll stay tonight. I'll get you the spare mattress I have. Do you mind sleeping in my office? No, I guess it's fine. Good. Ugh, let's hope everything gets solved by the morning. I'll have Zan Zankento, I'll have Zankento on hand, just in case. The, me the metal bat with nails? There's nothing it can't bash. Hint. Say, Gil, or hope everything's better by tomorrow. Okay. Oh, uh, we didn't have flawless service. We made a mistake. When? With the 17 thing? Okay. Whatever. That's fine. <laughs> All right. It's now safe to keep playing. Rise and shine. Good morning. It's 11 a.m. though. That's morning for me on the weekends. And any other day. How's everything Everything outside? Still noisy, but forces have been deployed to take care of most of them, at least. How so? Zaibatsu Corps' president is pleading with anyone to stop the rogue white knights. Neighboring city forces were deployed quickly and have subdued most of the opposition. There's also been reports of white knights just freezing, like they are petrified somehow. You let me get sound like some god suddenly decided to put everything in place. Well, I'm just glad no bullets are flying in and out of the whole building. Sure, there's still some bad apples out, and it's not really safe yet, but it was worse than last but it was worse last night. There also seemed to be a civilian force lynching any white knight they spot. So not only are the white knights a problem, regular folks are on edge too. I wonder if Say is okay. Should we be worried about Gel? That kid knows how to take care of himself. I'm sure that whatever it is he's doing, he's safe. Dare I say even safer wherever he is than here? I sure hope so. Are we going to work today? Nah, things are too nasty right now. Let's take the Sunday off. Oh, alright. Say, do you want me to help you get to your apartment? Actually, yeah, I'd appreciate that. Okay then, let me lock things up and we'll go. We'll grab something for lunch on the way. Sounds good. Whoa! <laughs> okay, and here we are. Home sweet home. Thanks a lot. Hey boss, wanna hang out for a bit? Hmm? Yeah, grab a beer, chill out for a bit. Mostly thank you for helping me. Well, I don't have much to do anyway, so yeah, sure. I did tell you you should invite me to your apartment sometime, didn't I? Oh yeah, you did. What worries me a bit is that beer always leads to something else. To more beer? I was going to say to one of us going through the Spanish announcer's table. But I think we're safe here. Come on in then. Excuse me. 
Want one? Sorry, I don't smoke. Don't mind me, though. Smoke if you wanna. Thanks. Say, how is the chilly weather treating you? It gets cold from time to time, but nothing the Ko Kotatsu and the Hedra can't fix. Alright. Boss, you're not very good at with the cold, are you? You know it. You didn't bring your jacket here, either. Yeah, I left it at home when going to the bar yesterday. It wasn't that cold, and I didn't expect to spend the night at the bar. Would you like a sweater or something? Oh, don't mind me. I insist. I have this hoodie from some time ago, and it was too big for me. Why buy it, then? It was dirt cheap. Right. Wait, where did you get this one? Don't know. Some flea market ages ago. Why? Nothing. It's just like the one I had in had many years ago. What happened to it? Too much use. It just ripped. I see. You can keep it if you want. I never use it anyway. Um, we'll see. Come to think of it, how old are you, boss? I'm eternally 17. Fair enough. 17 plus how much? 17 plus I'd have to cut your tongue if you knew. All right. Let me go change into something more comfortable. Take your time. <laughs> it's the cat. <laughs> Say, Jill, there's a blue-eyed mass of black fur glaring it in my general direction. Hmm? Oh, that's just four. He's just wary of new visitors. Cats will be cats, I guess. He'll warm up quickly enough. Just give him time. He's unusual looking. Blue eyes on a black cat. They usually have green. Yeah, weird, huh? At first I thought they were just like that because he was small, but they never changed. Do you have any pets, boss? Back at home we had a bear. Ah, uh, I uh, What? Good old Bosco. Kept intruders away better than any dog. Uh, right. Hmm? This picture here isn't something you see every day. <laughs> You're eternally 22. <laughs> uh, if only we all were. Hmm? This picture here isn't something you see every day. What? Me taking such a sappy pic? No, a friend, a framed picture on printed paper. It's so vintage. Who are these? That's, um, the one on the right is Lenore, my ex-girlfriend. The one on the left is Gabrielle, her sister. Huh, is this pick recent, or? Actually, that's, that one's from three to four years ago. You look exactly the same. I'm only 27. What did you expect? That's why they say kids are the ones that get old. I thought it was recent because you don't usually see people displaying pictures on their, of their exes so openly. Let alone a, a, a printed and framed one. Did you break up on good terms then? You even hesitated a bit when calling her your ex. <sighs> Let's just say that everything ended with both of us saying mean things. And me storming out of our house, breaking a couple of things on the way out. We never broke up formally, and I guess I still have feelings for her. I just went away. Haven't said a word since. Really? It's hard to picture you doing such a thing. You look so happy in this pic. Why have her pick out like this, then? <coughs> <clears throat> I just can't get my mind off something that Alma said to me. About missing having a warmth of someone else pressed against your side. Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head in their chest, listening to their breathing as they pet your head. Dozing off knowing they're there, watching you, protecting you. I don't know. I felt nostalgic and miserable. I'll uh, just put this away. I haven't meaning to apologize, but I feel like it's too late now. Whenever I go out, there's this fear in the back of my head that I'll meet her in the street. 
I just don't know if I could face her again. <laughs> Lonely. Yeah, me too. I just don't know if I could face her again, let alone talk to her. I'd be a mess. It's never too late to apologize, Jill. Maybe. Hmm? What's that on the table? Oh. Looks like an envelope. It's nothing. Nothing! Now please give that to me. Envelope. Alright. I saw nothing. Don't worry. That. Anyway, let's grab some beers. Guide me. Oh, they're sitting in beanbag chairs on the... That's cute. Beer so far, zero cans left, 12. Remaining beer, 100%. Damn, you have lots of beer. Well, the BTC gives me discounts and a point card a point card I can use every time I buy their alcohol. With that, beer is actually the cheapest drink I can get. Is there any difference between the drinks at the bar and these? The drinks at the bar are more addictive, flavorful, and also stronger than the ones they sell in stores. And besides, the one in the bar is the one in the bar is more of a double double IPA. This is this one is more of a pilsner. I don't know what any of this means. In English, please. This one's lighter in color and lighter in flavor. Dunno, it doesn't... Dunno. It doesn't taste like a lighter to me. Is this one made with that... Um, what was the name of the base liquid you used at the bar again? Nutriogenetic... Genic... Dichro... Dichrometric... Call... Lidogenol or NDL. It was a supplement or something, right? It was an experimental fluid they created to replace water when the maiden kiss polluted water supplies. Excuse me. The effects of pollution turned out to be temporary, so NDL never went into mass production. I got hiccups. <laughs> but the BTC still commissioned it for use in bars. And is this one made with it? Let's see. Yep, here it is. Near the end. NDL and cornstarch. Cornstarch? It serves as a stabilizer, if I, remember, if I remember correctly. They need it for packaged drinks. I see. And I just realized something. What? You're a nerd, Jill. Guilty as charged. I still have that bottle of rum somewhere around. Do you want some of it? Will you have some too? Not really, no. Then leave it like that. I'm not letting you drink beer alone. That's not how drinking with friends works. Do you consider me a friend then, boss? Why wouldn't I? Don't know, but with being my boss and all, I was never too sure. Well, in case you had any doubts, yes, I consider you one of you one of my best friends. Besides, you and Gil are always so diligent and responsible that I'm that, that I'm boss in the name only. In name only. That's good to know. On a side note, it surprises me you kept kept that poster of me in the room. And even more than more that you hung it in plain sight. When I gave it to you, it was more or less a joke, you know. Does it make you uncomfortable? If it doesn't make you uncomfortable, why would it make me uncomfortable? It's my own face. <laughs> Fair enough. 
I'm still wondering why you did it, though. Aside from filling an empty spot on the wall. I don't really know. I thought it was funny, too. I guess it's like if someone gave you... Don't know. A dildo-shaped trophy or something, and you had it there as a conversation starter. <laughs> Although no one comes here anyway, so it's kind of pointless. What? No steamy nights of passion? Not since a year ago, I think. I'd rather not talk about what happened then. Did someone hurt you? Because if they did, I can go dish out the pain. No, nothing of the sort. A different kind of mess. Uncomfortable mess, uh, not being able to have sex for reasons mess. Got to know you have my back, though. That's what friends are for. Hi, Ninetail. Hi, dear. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you've been alright. Staying hydrated, I hope. Hello. Hi, dear. Mwah. Good to see you. Wait. You talk about the poster and compare it to having a dildo shaped trophy. Did you just call me a dildo face? That's what friends are for. <laughs> Hey, Jill, where'd you get that, that, that black four ball? Well, as with any black cat or a house cat, then generally he's basically a straight, he's actually a straight. You doing good? Been a good day minus a small headache, spill my ice cream, phone trouble a bit, my cat won't shut up. Oh no. <laughs> I'm sorry your cat won't shut up and you have phone troubles. I hate phone troubles. And you spilled ice cream. I'm sorry, dear. What what kind of ice cream? <laughs> was it? Was it? What what kind of ice cream? I'm curious now. I found them in the alley alleys near the building. Not long after I moved here, I think. Ah, I see. It's quite the sight, though. He was cornered by all these dogs, but they were keeping their distance. He was holding his ground, hissing and scratching as much as he could. There was a fried chicken bucket nearby that had some rainwater in it, so I threw the water over the dogs. They ran, and I figured the cat's mom would be nearby, so I left. I noticed people looking in my direction as I walked. Turns out the little shit started following me. So you brought her home? At first, I wanted to see if I could find him a new home, but having him welcome me whenever I came back was just too much for my heart, so he ended up staying. It was destiny, girl. When he came home, he was... When he came, he was so cute, though. You know, like the fat, fat mess that sleep, that's sleeping on the table. For, hey, you know, you're not a spring chicken yourself, you know. Oh, ho. shit. I actually did that in front of someone else. Oh, <laughs> this is Jill talking when Force has, speaks. Okay. I see, I see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh, anyway. Don't, anyway, me? Do you normally speak for your cat like that? Maybe. <sighs> I wonder if Gil's alright. You worried about him? Make it sound like I'm some emotionless robot. You can be hard to read. I wouldn't worry about Gil so much, though. There's three things I know for certain about him. First, he can take care of himself. 
Second, you can sincerely trust him. And third, he absolutely hates Bill Pepper. He does? I've seen him reject food that has been in contact with it. Man, what a baby. Unless he's allergic or something. He's not. Man, what a baby. How'd you meet such a guy? He showed up in the door of the bar. He what? Well, it was shortly after the whole incident with Robert and the levitation potion. Right. Levitation potion. It was a slow day and he just showed up at showed up at the bar. But it's good to see you, Nine Tail. Uh, I'm sorry, you spilled your ice cream. I'm sorry. <laughs> and phone trouble, so that's no fun. And a headache, I hate headaches. It's just no fun. It was a slow day and he just showed up at the bar. I offered him a drink, but he said he didn't have money on him. I couldn't leave him alone, so I pretty much gave him, gave him, gave the drinks for free. And after a couple, he broke down crying. He, huh? I don't know what he did, but he was really, really regretting it. He wanted a second chance or whatever. And I told him if he could wash himself, I'd find him a job. And I'll be damned, he looked totally different the next day. Damn. I tried and failed to find out anything about him. So I decided to take him at face value. I judged him for what he did as an employee. And aside from the occasional sudden escapade, he's been as loyal as loyal gets. I, re I returned the favor in kind, covering his ass from time to time, sometimes literally. What surprises me is that he took him so in took him in so easily. I can take care of myself, and I always kept an eye on him. Besides, after the whole Robert thing, I couldn't ignore someone that desperate, that desperate so easily. I see. You've made the bar more lively yourself, you know. How so? <laughs> Red in the face now. Well, what the regulars you've earned of regulars you've earned, of course. Like that blonde titty hacker. I can't remember her name. Elma. I was gonna say Armitage. Well, she's hot. I'll give her that much. She's also a nice person in general, but damn, she's hot. <laughs> Are you all right, Jill? Yeah, why? It's weird to see you say so openly that someone's hot. What? Even you can see she has some hot, has a bo hot body, boss. You'll find no objections here. I mean, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't thought about taking her to, to a room and... Jill, you sure you aren't drunk? I am. I mean, I'm sure I'm not. I mean... <clears throat> but those are thoughts I leave to myself. I don't think I could handle her in a relationship. She has weird standards. That and she's as straight as straight gets. She's still a lovely person, though. That be that she became a regular is a regular is a blessing. And your regular is a blessing when you get down to it. There's also that sex worker robot girl. Ah, Dorothy. She intrigues me, though. I've seen lots of sex workers over the years, and she seems pretty giddy. It's not that she likes her job, but rather that she takes takes to it with such childish excitement. I've kind of noticed that too, but then again, Lilm can be weird. You think? 
Well, I'm operating some really foreign logic. I mean, they didn't really share, share our fear of mortality. Even if their bodies are destroyed, their minds are already backed up in the collect collective source. If they lose an arm, they can reattach it or re replace it. Depending on the circumstances, they might not even feel pain at all. It's not like they haven't attained human-like emotions like fear or love, but they are different. Like a different culture, if you must. Hmm, I didn't see it that way. Aside from that, Dorothy is a DFC-72. She's a social interactions model or something. A of them get positive reinforcement straight from their bodies if they're fulfilling their main purpose, so... I'm guessing she gets a built-in push whenever she's in a meaningful or challenging social interaction. Interesting. The name Lilum is a bit weird, though. Is it? You'd expect them to be called bots or dolls, but Lilum doesn't convey the image of automatons. Just a tip. Bots and dolls are considered slurs by them. Bot is akin to calling them... <laughs> and doll is like calling them fake. Thanks for the advice. That aside, do you know why they're called Lilin? As far as I know, because they all came come from bigger AI called Lilith. And Lilith are Lilith's offspring in Jewish folklore. Hmm, I see. Oh, cool. Hey, speaking of names, why don't you like being called by your full name? I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't act stupid. Back when you first transferred, I called you Julianne and you almost tore me tore me a new one with your glare. See? Like that. It's no big secret. But it's one of those things that feels silly when you say it out loud. Try me. Well... Did you ever watch Model Warrior, Model Warrior Julianne? Not all of it, but my little sister's a big fan of the reruns. Back when I was in elementary school, I was a huge fan of the show. I ate everything, from the dolls to the costumes to the lunch boxes. It didn't help that it was one of the shows that got Strapped literally everywhere. I saw a couple of episodes once. They were really nice. It was beyond nice. The show's about a model who can transform into an armor-clad magic knight. She fights demons born from greed and vanity. How the show presented Jules hitting her job because of invited enemies. And yet still found solace in trying to be a role model. Well, the main character wasn't a kid. Julianne was an adult that became younger when transformed. I'd say it was pretty ambitious, a pretty ambitious kids show. Even by today's standards. Just the fact that her enemies were literally issues dealing with beauty standards of body image. Challenging as fuck. Boy, you got excited there. <laughs> and that is the problem. Back when I was a... Back then, I was obsessed with Jules. I sing the songs just like her. I could even recite full chapters. Something tells me you still can. That's besides the point. It was nice while I was in elementary school, but then I went to middle school. And what a surprise, tweens are jackasses. They went out of their way to tease me about the things I did back then. I don't hold it against Jules. I was holding my grudge against those fuck Jules. <laughs> Sounds rough. You know how most girls, most girls worry about their thighs at that age? I worried about jerkasses singing this, the theme tune of the show mocking me. Anyways, every time someone calls me Julianne or Jules, I instinctively react negatively. Pavlov would be proud of me. 
I never talk about it because I find the whole thing too silly in retrospect. And yet it affects you even today. There's nothing wrong with it though. It's actually kind of reasonable. I sure hope so. Come to think of it, what kind of kid were you, boss? When I was a toddler, I was the, I was the kind of always fight with kids bigger than me. How long is this section of the game? <laughs> when puberty happened and I became a Merriam-Webster definition of shallow jerkwad, around the time I turned 16, I realized what an it, what an idiot I was, and I went on to become who I am today. And, less, and the less I talk about those years from 12 to 15, the better. Fair enough. Say, boss, how do you like them men? 2D. 2D? Yes, I don't mind anything as long as that thing is cute or 2D. How about you? Um, back in high school, I liked them. I liked them funny. In college, I liked them successful. After a while, I just wanted them stable, and now, and now, I don't know. I stopped caring about them being funny. My high school boyfriend started conflating cheering me up with mocking me when I'm down. I also stopped caring about them being su successful. I realized half the time they had no qualms about cheating with, cheating with me or on me. And I stopped caring about them being stable. I realized they were kind of the, the kind of person I was trying not to become. To not become stable? There was this guy who became so obsessed with holding a stable job that he hated. He started being physically ill. Not only that, the last time I managed to get some, I ended up throwing the guy out. He took incredible offense with how I smoked smoked on the bed after sex. The bed could catch fire, you know. Now oh, you too. I kind of envy Alma for that. At least when she dumps the guy, it's for less petty reasons. <sighs> Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just... It all boils down to the fact I can't get my mind off Lenore lately. She was, she was all what I just said. She made me laugh. She had, she had a good p position and was stable. She was also smart, caring, and why can't I get my mind off the whole thing? It's just maddening. Maybe I could, should go and apologize. Maybe, maybe I should. Maybe that will make the rest easier at night. Make me rest easier at night. Get my mind off things for a while. I don't even care about going back to her, but... But... Ah! Hey, Jill, have you tried thinking about clothes for four? Clothes for... Heh. <laughs> Listen. I know, I know how you must feel. But you can't let all that cloud your senses. Next time you feel overwhelmed by those thoughts, try distracting yourself. Like with, say, thinking what kind of clothes you can put on for. Yeah. You know, boss, I'm a bit curious about your circle of friends. What kind of people do you have in it? Keep in mind, you're included in the circle too, so any insults you hurl will, hurl will apply right back to you. Anyways... I have this friend I've known for a long time, a redhead, glasses wearing gun nut called Iris. The only one, the one you called for the, the helmet thing? That one. She's managing a BTC bar in Panama right now, if I remember correctly. She's managing a bar too? I got the idea from her, actually. Oh. It's called N1RV Anna. And if you thought this city is, was dangerous, you should see the people she has to deal with there. Piracy ain't nothing to fuck with. And means it was an annex to another business. What else does she do there? I think the bar was originally her hotel's bar. 
She moved the bar to its own building elsewhere and opened N N1 RV and B in the hotel instead. Weird decision. I believe she, she said she wanted a place away from the noisy rich tourists that go to the hotel. So that bar is her woman cave. Woman cave. Let aside. Let's see. Friends. Friends. I guess there's this, there's also my little sister. But that's a given. Oh, there's also my old partner from when I was with the Neo San Francis Francisco Police Force. Neo San Francisco. <laughs> Police Force. Good old Lexi. Should give her a call sometime. Wait, you were in the what? I've done lots of things, Jill. I've spent a short time collaborating with the police force. I've been a wrestler, an MMA fighter, chimney cleaner, lumberjack, pet shop attendant, corporate mascot. Corporate what? I still see my face on some websites from time to time. Anyways, aside from you, Gil, and my, my sis, Iris, and Lexi, hmm, I guess there's a lot of people that don't want to see me in harm's way. Must be because they're the ones that want to hurt me. What about you? I guess I have acquaintances here and there. Back at home in college, I went out a lot. But it felt more like I was going, like going out was, th was the pleasure rather than the people involved. Aside from you and Gil, my closest friend since moving here is Elma. Oh. And Dorothy. Talking hero? Oh, I was... Welcome back, dear. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's okay. I talk my mom's ear off, so... <laughs> it's fine. You're fine. I mean, sure, there's always four, but that cat's a hermit that refuses to go out. And you know, he's a cat. Hey, a cat's fine too, you know. Boss. Hey, boss. Hmm? How'd you lose your V-card? <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, I hope your art's going all right, Ninetail. I'm sure it is. I'm confident it's going great. Your art is lovely. V, huh? You know, your V-card. Your first time, you're deflowering. Oh, that. Well, I'm legally bound to not disclose that information. Does that mean you lost it? Can't, dis can't disclose that information. Come on, just give me a hint or... Jill, bad things will happen for everyone if this intro is revealed in any way. All right, all right. Sheesh. You were productive a day? Because you were productive today a bit? Nice. So it's good to be productive. And it's okay to not be productive sometimes, too. Alright, alright. Sheesh. I can only say this. The whole thing is related to my mechanical arm. Great, now you're just teasing me. Is any reason you want to know that? Well, everyone's first time is always a mess. But, I, but I've always... But I've always to know if it was as messy a time as mine. Is, what happened? Well, I got all lovey-dovey with my first boyfriend, and then we both got naked, I... Huh? When I saw his... When I saw the stick, I just started laughing. <clears throat> I started laughing. I'm not a cricket. Oh my goodness. I don't remember hearing crickets this summer. That's weird. I don't think I've heard a single cricket. There's been there's lots of grasshoppers outside though. My grandma's yard is covered in them. Oh my goodness! That's right I said your window. Oh. 
Nervous? No, I just find dicks funny. You. Uh. They're funny. They're. They have a sack attached to them and <laughs> they grow and they're just. <laughs> they're just stupid meat rods. <laughs> so, how did your boyfriend react? He went flaccid from the laughter and <laughs> it just shrunk and went limp. Just go out and step on him. Smush him. <clears throat> Knock on the window. I had to work it out. I had to work it out to for a bit so I could control my laughter, but... Oh, you don't know where it is? It's so hard. They're just so stupid. <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> Stupid meat rods. Chill? Huh. We fell asleep. Well, let's see. Try to move her back inside before she catches a cold. <laughs> okay. I was worried that the it would end after we ran out of beer. It's snowing. Chapter 2 Amarga. Please make sure you have 8,000 by then. I think. Oh, we don't have 8,000. The cricket. Your phone's not charging? I had that, uh... I had that problem with my 3DS. That's because the, the battery was old and it started expanding. It's charging, but not... Mm. Yeah, because... I had that problem with the th my 3DS and one of my old phones the battery expanded so it wouldn't charge that's still going down hmm weird <laughs> but uh yeah i had that problem with my 3ds and one of my older phones it sucks <laughs> It's curious about uh, Dharma she saw, getting one of prevent her from be becoming too distracted. Have a nice day. Oh, boss left the hoodie. Hoodie anyway. Okay, so we need the Dharma. Crack Dharma. Japanese souvenir that has still, if I have seen better days, still has a vintage charm to it. Got the Dharma. Please make sure you have 8,000 needed. Oh boy. <laughs> At least what's left? I'm sorry, dear. Monday, 19th of December. Hey, I'm American, so this, this looks like, uh, I don't know. This is supposed to be the month, and this is supposed to be the day. <laughs> it throws me off. Hello, feral American. Hello. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Hmm. So, is the back of your phone bulging at all? Is where the battery is, anyway? Because that happened to one of my phones 
that I had for a long time. Could just be you gotta clean it. I don't know. It's annoying. <laughs> it is. Okay. Apollo Bank is getting attacked too. Seems a lot happened while I was gone. Media is still awfully quiet about it. Augmented, I talked about it, but very briefly. Maybe someone lost their job due to that one rogue, rogue article. You want this cricket to shut up? <laughs> Go get him. This is from Kim. She's always trying to write serious shit, but I think he got tired of her. Fucking shame. So all we'll get is clickbait from now on. Gonna get worse at the very least. White Knight say there's a lot of people inside the building. At least three people already dead. How? Is someone there shooting people? Looks like it was the security from the building, but I've got no details yet. Sounds weird as fuck. Come on, Insider Insider Anon. You gotta give us more. Doing my best here. Thanks, Base Anon. Let's <laughs> thread is close. Apollo Bank is getting attacked. Three. Explosion registered. All media is still quiet about it. I can't confirm there's an explosion, but it looks like it was just one of them. So there's more bombs, not just one? That's right. Do we have any clue on who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group. This is a group. A new one looking to overthrow the government. Hi, Lilith. Hi, dear. Um... I know Thorin's still here. <laughs> we're uh, we're playing uh, Valhalla. Um, but please go follow. She's very sweet. She's she's hand sewing a a hop up dratini. It's adorable. And Lilith is adorable. She's great. <laughs> Please go follow her. She deserves it. I don't know who's here, but uh, go follow Lil Lil <laughs> Lilith. I can't talk. <laughs> We're playing Valhalla. We're playing Valhalla. Uh, cyberpunk bartender action. No, you're too kind. <laughs> you're too kind. Uh. But yeah, we're playing Valhalla. It's a cyberpunk coffee talk, kinda. Um, there is quite a bit of uh, uh, swearing <laughs> and that kind of thing. Uh, one second. Sorry, I just realized you can't see that. Uh, let me hide chat. There we go, that's better. <laughs> Sorry about that. That makes it easier to see what's happening, I hope. <laughs> Swing is your lifeblood? Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you have any clue on who's doing this? I'm hearing from several sources that this is a group, a new one, looking to overthrow the government. No names have been mentioned, and it looks like it's not a group, but just one person who set, who set up all this. That's pretty ballsy. And this is just a rumor around here, but Alice Rabbit might be involved. How? A hacker is helping out hostages to escape, and they're suspecting of Alice. Huh. Someone doing stupid shit on the internet is being actually useful. So it's closed. Some deep shit hap happened right there. Well, a bank is f being attacked. Thread 4. Can confirm the situation has finally reached its end. The attacker was shot dead, but a huge amount of data was released from servers all around the world. Remember the leaks from Alice? Those were nothing compared to this. Proof of corruption, money laundering, espionage. It's actually pretty unsettling. 
Damn. But how how are you, Lilith? How are you? It's good to see you. Hope you're doing all right. The file is available from approximately 60,000 sources. Terabytes that contain all operations from the Glitch City government and White Knights operations. It seems the ultimate goal from the attack was not to blow up the bank, but lead hostages towards the servers inside the bank, which had the files under several layers of physical security. That just sounds whack. How do you even make a plan this complex? No idea, but that's what some of the new witnesses are telling the police. Okay, it looks like I have to leave, but I'll try to write down all the details for a future post. Gonna need some time, though. Godspeed, Anon. Thanks. Will you read the file? Nah. You're sewing limbo right now because you need more minky. Other than that, you're not up, to, not up to much. Uh, what have I been up to? I ate a whole pizza today in one sitting. <laughs> it was uh, Domino's. It was an olive and green pepper pizza. This is the most interesting thing I've done today, anyway. <laughs> Just eat a whole pizza. Um, I fed the goldfish outside in the pond. Um, but yeah, it was Domino's. So it was actually pretty good. The crust was good. Usually, in my experience, the crust on a Domino's is too crunchy. Um, it's I only eat the whole thing because all I'd eaten today was two peanut butter bars and a lemon bar. So I was actually pretty hungry. Um, and uh, there was actually sauce on the pizza, which was nice. <laughs> it was pretty nice. Um, and uh, I did some sewing. I'm working on another puppet. I have the like the body of the puppet done, but I'm working on some arms. And I might give him some ears. I'm not sure yet. Um, but uh, I'm working on the arms. Because uh, the the arms for the puppet I have up, have up on Twitter. My first puppet I just folded. Uh, I, I just hot glued and folded uh, two pieces of felt. It looks great. Thank you. <laughs> I tried. Um... I'm working on another one because I changed the uh, made a copy of the pattern and I changed the the nose shape a bit and uh, it the new pattern gives them kind of a bit of a hook nose that kind of look like a, like a fraggle I like it a lot <laughs> but uh, um, I'm doing something different the arms I'm hand sewing them and I put the little hand on the end of the felt of the arm so he's got three fingers and a thumb on each hand i'm sewing the left arm right now um yeah i'm excited <laughs> and uh so after i finish this one i might um Yeah, my mom helped me make the pattern because I could not. Um, I needed someone else's input, but uh, yeah, <laughs> made this pattern from watching this YouTube video. Uh, there's this guy on YouTube. His name is Adam Krutinger. He has a puppet called. He has a channel <laughs> called Puppet Nerd. Um, this stuff's pretty cool. Because he has this video of him making a puppet for his, uh, like, four-year-old four year old daughter. And he makes a pattern for and all this. So me and my mom are watching this video on repeat. Trying to figure out how to size it up to uh, to my arm. <laughs> um, it took us about, like, uh, an after, like, a whole afternoon. Maybe another few hours another the next day um and then later i was scrolling through his videos because he's been doing it for a long time and he's got like a seven year old video of him actually making the pattern <laughs> for a puppet i was like oh this one's way easier <laughs> um 
Yeah, so the, all I did for the, the other pattern was just trimmed the, the nose a bit. That's all I changed about it. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, working on the, the arms right now. And if I like the way these arms turn out and look, I, uh, I might make one with some fur. Make, might make some out of fur. Uh, I got a bunch of, like, this black fur from my grandma, because she made a coat for my aunt. Uh, stuff gets everywhere. <laughs> um, but I, I might use that to make a puppet next. I'm not sure. Um... But yeah, that's uh, where I'm at right now with the puppet. Um, I had this, uh, so my grandma, Lucifer is the worst part, right. But with the puppet, you want to just cut through the batting of the, the fur fabric with an X-Acto knife. Because you don't want to use scissors and cut, cut around it. Because it just, you'll cut uh, the fur off the edges of the fabric. Of the pattern so that it'll be less furry so you just uh slowly carefully cut the batting with an exacto cut it out kind of like a cookie cutter <laughs> um yeah i got a bunch of this black fur it feels kind of like rabbit fur if you've ever pet a rabbit or uh have rabbit fur lying around <laughs> It's kind of that, it's almost that soft, um, but it's very glossy black fur. It's not very long either, but it's, it's nice. It's, it's nice. <laughs> um, so I might, uh, make a puppet out of that next. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure. Cause I, I bought this, uh, pink, pink, uh, fuzzy stuff to uh, make a puppet with so i don't know if i'll do that next or make another one out of some other scraps um i try that's why i don't use a uh a sewing machine because the the seams with the sewing machine would be too uh visible um i just use the i don't know if it's called the whip stitch or the slip stitch i don't know <laughs> You just go in the same side of the, the uh, fabric where you're sewing. So you make this coil. The string is like a coil shape. So it gives you more stretch. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear me because there's an ad break. I'll, I'll probably have to say that again. But yeah, I, I give myself a bit of a seam allowance. I try to, anyway. <laughs> this is still only my second puppet. But... Oh, you can hear me right now? Yeah, the whip stitch. Um, You just go in the same side every time so it makes this coil of thread uh, up the the seam so you get more stretch with the, like the fleece or whatever and the the thread this you know it stretches with the fabric because uh i watched a video by adam and he talked about the whip stitch versus the ladder stitch and uh, the ladder stitch just seems like too much work. <laughs> and it's not that strong either. It's only as strong as your thread. So if you're not using super strong thread, it just rips really easy. So you want to use this, the, the whip or slip stitch. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't know. But that's what I use. It's, it's, wor it's worked out so far. <laughs> But my throat's getting all scratchy. I'm, I'm talking too much. <laughs> I 
Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I'll I'll uh I'll post the other puppet when I've got the arms attached to it and stuff. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I've been thinking about uh please do <laughs> I will, I will. <clears throat> I've been thinking about getting some, like, uh, stuffed animal eyes. Because, uh, I just have ping pong balls. And they work. <clears throat> but, uh, the, uh, the stuffed animal eyes are like, you know, they anchor into the, um, the fabric. So they don't come out. Because if they've got, you make a... You like bore a hole in the fabric. Excuse me. And you stick the eye through. And the back of the eye has like this little screw. And then you stick like a plastic washer on there. And uh, it anchors the eye to the fabric. I've been thinking about. I don't know if you can buy those. On Amazon or anything. Hi Tattered. Mwah. Hi dear. How are you? I'm burpy right now. I don't. Why am I so burpy? Because I'm talking. I'm talking. Hi, <laughs> Tedder. How are you, dear? It's good to see you. <clears throat> You're fantastic as always. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Okay. We've got. Any. &E. Danger use admin has been arrested? Oh, all right, I remember this. December 17th will come. Second Retribution. Birthday is coming. That's right. Milana Smithy. A uh, famous hacker, Alice Rabbit, graced the popular text board Danger You with a new threat, which resulted in the arrest of the site's admin, known as Furfur, for a second time. We have no details to give other than that he was arrested as part of an ongoing investigation. Cybercrime Unit's Lizette Blanc told the Augmented Eye during a call, We are now busy tracking down the message that appeared yesterday. When inquired about th the arrest, Furfur could only respond with a calm, Not this shit again. <laughs> Poor guy. Nanokamo is now making smart underwear. <laughs> you just thought about looking at prices. Did not. Uh, by Lana Smithy. If underwear you can change with a voice command was something you really wanted in your life, Nano Camo has you covered. Already providing consumer versions of their advanced nano machine fabric, they plan to release a line of underwear that can change its look with a spoken word. No more stains in your white panties, just change its color to black and you'll barely notice. That won't change the smell though. They're not that advanced. <laughs> We expected an we expect an increase in sales next year thanks to this innovative product, a PR representative told the augmented eye. I'm already using them. Super comfy if you ask me. Alright. GSF January fourth card announced. Sixty six American kid and giant Yusuke, Yusuke headlining wrestling? My boss made me curious. By Lana Smithy. The blood feud between Giant Yusuke and 66 American Kid will reach its climax this January 4th at the annual GSF Dome event, but it's not the only match of the night. Other interesting bouts feature great workers such as the Great DK and Arentz. Arentz, full card below. 66 American Kid vs Giant Yusuke GSF Championship. Red Comet Jr. vs Nagisa. Akito vs the Great DK. Royal Campbell vs. Arntz, uh, Jack Bomb and Blaze vs. Huli and Carla Col Colta, Tag Team Can Championship, Osuna vs. Sieg Siegfried. Alright. Okay. To work. Monday, December, December 19th. Okay, Gil? Oh, hey guys. How the hell did you get in? 
I have a copy of the key, remember? Wait, that's not how you greet me after so many days. I've never, I never doubted you to be fine. If anything, I'd have to cut your paycheck for leaving so, for so many days without notice. Ugh. See, Joe? He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. Wait, why does he have a copy of the key and I don't? The need for you having a key never arose. True. Anyway, glad you're, glad you're fine, Gil. Thanks, I guess. What? Are you going to make me wash the bathrooms again? Not today. Listen, I don't know who the hell you really are or what's, try what's trying to come back to bite you in the ass. Remember, there are people that actually care about you. Don't just leave like you did. Especially after all that. All hell broke loose. This gives us a sign you're still alive. So you were worried? Isn't that normal? When it comes to you, I don't know. Shut up. She's right, though. You shouldn't make ladies worry so much. Check if the cats didn't move the internet antenna, would you? Fine, fine. Hey, boss, why'd you leave the hoodie at my place? Because it's yours? But I told you you could keep it. Sorry, I couldn't find it in myself to take it. Why? Partly because I didn't feel right taking it. <laughs> Mostly because I thought you'd you you totally look cute with it. Uh, I see. Don't think I'm rejecting a gift of yours. It's just preserving cuteness is one of my principles. Uh, right. Um, boss. About last night, I think I said one too many things, and uh, so what? Drunk banter is something you see every day. It's not like I'm gonna think less of you because of it. Relax. If anything, I feel closer to you after seeing you so wasted. Oh. So yeah, don't give it to, don't give it much thought. <laughs> Stupid meat rods. Antenna's fine. Did I miss anything? Nothing. Let's go. Are you okay? Your face is red. I'm fine. What's this one? Time to mix drinks and change lives. Oh yeah, Gil? Hmm? Glad to see you're fine. I mean it. Thanks. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dana Zane. May I have your name? Tiller, it's Brian. Just a sec. Boss, some Brian guy is looking for you. Tell him I'll be there in a bit. She'll, um, you heard her. It's alright, I'll wait. It's weird for someone to come ask. It's, it's weird for someone to come asking for her, though. It's not so weird when you're BTC's regional manager in these parts. Yeah, I guess it's. Um, excuse me. I guess I didn't give you the best first impression. <laughs> Don't worry. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not a fan of people treating me so nicely because of my position, anyways. And I'm like I'm just another client. Uh, all right, I can do that. What can I get you, Mr. Brian? Let's go with the basics. A sugar rush, please. Coming right up. I can do that. Sugar rush. Two. Edelhyde. Powder. Delta. And three. Carmatrine. Mixed. Here. Yep, this one's nice. Back in Trang, they made a big deal out of sugar rushes. Why? They're like the fried eggs of mixing drinks. They're the most basic thing, but people can still mess them up. Sugar rushes are simple enough that you only need to follow instructions. If you can't even do that, 
Your future as a bartender is not bright. Huh. They never told me that. You're Jill, right? Yep, that's me. Dana has talked Dana has talked quite a bit about you. Really? And I guess you must have a few questions for me, am I right? Mostly concerning the closure warning closure warning Valhalla got. Can you disclose any information? I shouldn't, but you have the right to know. Thanks. Don't mention it. Now where to start? You saw the news on the information leaked during the Apollo Trust banking incident, right? About the White Knights having lots of members from criminal organizations in their ranks? Turns out the White Knights weren't the only ones with shady people. Some of those same folks have been trying to elude legal problems using BTC certified bars. The BTC bars have their own protocols, meaning the White Knights can't dig too deeply. At least not without going through a ton of paperwork first, giving the criminals time to cover their tracks. Although it takes a bit of time to set up, it has apparently proven an effective method for money laundering. Where does Valhalla come in? Young bars are the ones under the radar right now, and the modest to low income ones are the primary suspects. It's not just Valhalla, any small bar with small income is being investigated heavily right now. So the closure notice is due to low sales. Among the reasons a bar can get axed, low sales is the rarest one. If low sales were a problem, lots of bars would close every year. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough, huh? Sorry? Oh, nothing. Don't mind me. Seems your guess was spot on, Gil. Hmm? If it helps, I'm doing my best to appeal, to appeal in your place. Really? Why? Most of Glitch City's bars are a pain in the ass. They constantly give reports of chemical damage or shitty drinks. This is one of the few places from which I almost never receive complaints. The closet thing, closest thing to a recent complaint is that the, is that whole Farmer Fabrics affair with, from a little while ago. So much saliva. I wouldn't get my hopes up, though. Especially since the BTC will try to face, stay face by axing as many suspects as possible. Knowing you're making, making an effort is enough, thanks. Can I get you anything else? Now that I remember, the recipe book has a drink drink created here, right? Oh yeah, the suplex. Give me one of those, please. Sure. Let's give Brian a suplex. Four plus one, two, three, four. One, two, three. On the rocks. Two, three. Mixed. There's a suplex. Here. The registry form, registry form said this was an accident while making a pile driver. You can ask the creator of the drink just over there. Ah, so you're Robert? Yes, that's my name. I'm Robert. The one and only. Jill called you Gil, though. Uh, it's an Argentinian thing. Slang. Uh, Robert here is from Argentina, so we call him Gil. Huh. I see. Sorry, Brian, I was sorting some stuff at the office. Please come in. I'll be right there. Any other questions, Jill? Not really, no. Although, yeah? If you were to evaluate my performance right now, what would you rate me? Clean and timely delivery of correct orders, a top-notch bartender. Thanks. Now, if you excuse me, I'm surprised you haven't met him before. I received my training in another city. The regional supervisor there was some girl with a red mohawk. Ah, I see. I wonder what boss would talk to Brian about. Um, Jill, was it? Ah, Miss Stella, what a pleasure. Are you okay? Yeah, um, just call me Stella. And give me a big beer, please. Huh. Sure, on it. A big beer. Okay. Uh, two... Adelheid. Four Bronson. Two Powdered Delta. Four Flangeride. And eight Karmatrine. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And mix. Uh, are you sure you're fine? Um, you know, say, right? Of course, what's up with her? She was at the Apollo Trust Bank during the whole affair and... Oh, right, that. <clears throat> so she... She didn't show up on the list of the massive body count in the aftermath, so... I was hoping that maybe you've seen her. As much as I'd love to say that I had. Yeah, I figured as much. What is happening on the TV back there? Okay. <clears throat> Man, they are suddenly a lot heavier. I mean, I could tell her everything would be alright, but that would sound like a bit condescending. What does one do with this kind of situation? <laughs> be a joke? No, that'd be tasteless. Okay, just... Try and say anything. Uh, at the very least, you'll break the tension. Maybe distracting her will be enough? I think cl clearly... <clears throat> I don't think clearly when under this kind of pressure, do I? Uh, there's a private eye here the other day. I? Sorry, I'm a bit on edge. A private de detective, I take it? Yeah, maybe you'll want his services? What's his name? I believe it was Art. Von... No. Von De Delay? Oh, that Art guy. Yeah, I actually hired him yesterday to look for say. So you still have hope? I'm somewhere between bargaining and depression right now. I'm afraid to let go of bargaining. I see. Is he any good? He doesn't look like it, but he's quite skilled at gathering intel. I believe he'll give me answers about, say, whatever they might be. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a magic wand so I could solve all my problems with a swing, you know? Sorry if I'm making you uncomfortable. Oh, sorry. No, it's not about feeling uncomfortable. It's just weird. I usually try to say something to my clients when I see them down. And right now, I can't find any words that I don't, that I don't sound hypocritical, useless, or tasteless. I'm glad to know you have that much common sense, at least. All I can do is get you drinks. Can I get you, get, can I get you anything else? Something sweet. It'll help me calm down a bit. Gladly. Something sweet to calm her down. Let's see, sweet. Uh, sparkle star? Skin problem made them redesign a drink without the sparkle. Sugar rush, sunshine cloud? Let's go with a sunshine cloud. Two. Two. The rocks? I'll put one camera treat in there. And blend it, okay. Here. Since you really like, say. I don't have brothers or sisters, and my social interactions are usually strictly business. So say's more than a friend to me. She's... She's... Sorry, I brought that topic up at a bad time. <clears throat> don't worry about it. As I was saying, she's more than a friend. She's my emotional support. She's someone I can trust wholeheartedly. I'd say she's like my sister, but siblings usually lack that level of trust. I have to deal with high-class pricks of every race and, up race and upbringing on a daily basis. They use a business mask to hide anything they don't want others to know, and I do the same. But with Say, I can be myself. I can do whatever I want to vent all my frustrations. She's always been there for me, and now she might need me. But here I am, sitting in a bar, making other people do that job because I'm a useless pile of flesh. Sorry about the outburst. I'm actually kind of jealous of the level of self-control you're using here. I mean, I'd be a mess in that situation. Still, 
Would you like some fresh air? I'm gonna take my break and you could and you could do some. Well, for a given value of fresh. <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. Okay then. Guild please please service Miss Stella while I take my break. Sure, leave it to me. Oof. Now safe to keep playing. God damn, is it chilly outside? Jukebox. Face of the Titans. Sure. Uh, we'll go with. Uh, that one. That one. I'm back. Eh? Where's Miss Stella? She left saying she had something to do. Hope she's fine. Ah, Mr. Art. Mr. Art, that sounds weird. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Sure. Let's give Art a beer. I'll hire two Bronson, one powdered, two fine dried, and four coffee. One, two, three, four. All mixed. Beer. There's no better way than a crappy day at work. Bad day? Not really. Just that my job is crappy in general. Ah. Wait, did you just say Miss Stella? What? When you when you entered, you asked for Miss Stella. Yeah. What happened to be Stella Hoshi? That one, yeah. Huh. That was quite the coincidence. I'm actually doing a job for her. More of a coincidence that it happened to be the Stella you're looking for. Stella is not exactly a common name, so of course I'll raise an eyebrow when hearing it. What kind of job are you doing for Tracking some missing girl that was in the Apollo Trust Bank on the weekend. Did you find her? That's the weirdest thing. Yet, she wasn't among the dead bodies, and yet she is nowhere to be found. I like to think she found a way out, but I must keep investigating. Speaking of searches, did you find the, the other girl you were working, looking for? Crimson Rose? Nope. But I did find out she was stuck with the other people at the Apollo Trust Bank. She disappeared too, and honestly, she better stay that way. There are things I certainly don't want to deal with, and an assassin who, whose cover has been blown is one of them. I wonder what she was doing there. That girl is unstable. Crazy. Saying she was there because she found the idea of being in a soon-to-be-murdered crowd fun isn't far-fetched. Huh. And you're saying this girl was on the run? Apparently... Not only is she hurt, she also got her cover blown. A wounded beast on the run. Something I'm seriously not getting involved with. I don't care how much they offer me. On a side note, give me a Mars Blast, please. Mars Blast? On. Uh, six Bronson. Two, eight, four, five, six. One, two. Wait, reset. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. One, two, three, four. Two karma train. Alright. All blended. Alright. Easy enough. Here. You sure this is right? This isn't red. The Mars Blast isn't red. I still don't get that one either. You're borrowing. You're blowing your money quite lightly, at least compared to the last time you came. Remember the last time I came? 
We don't get that many clients, so it's easy to remember. Yeah, well, I have to. I have to. I don't want the client to come back looking for the cash when they realize I'm not looking for Crimson Rose. You what? Do you know how Crimson Rose kills her targets? Not really, no. Her blood has an abnormal batch of nanomachines. They react to the normal kind floating inside you and I. If her blood touches yours, it causes nanomachine rejection almost immediately. Right then and there, spreading as fast as your blood pumps. Tissues getting ripped off by themselves. Brain damage. She never executes her targets. She just cuts them, cuts her palm, and holds the target's injury tightly. Some say the target looks like it's getting drained. Getting thinner by the minute. Like I said, it's far as far as I know, that girl's cover got blown during the whole bank, bank affair. She got crazy with bloodlust and killed a guy or something. When everyone was freed, she just disappeared. Probably until the smoke blows off. And there's also hints that she got some sort of injury. So she's likely going to be more on guard than usual. And do you honestly think I want to chase someone so dangerous in such a situation? I'm not an idiot. If my client wants someone dead, they can get someone else to take the contract. I have a family, damn it. You do? Wife and a daughter, why? I don't know, you strike me more as a single person for some reason. I get that a lot. <clears throat> Alright, one last drink before leaving. Anything on your mind? Hmm, a piano man or something with lots of alcohol. I'll let you decide. Alright, a piano man for Mr. Detective. Okay, two alcohol, three Bronson. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Three rocks and mixed. Here, a piano man. Now that I think about it, why don't you have a pianist? Then bring clients. The problem isn't the pianist. Pianos are just too expensive. Alright. Time to leave. What you looking at? You're not moving. Bullshit, I'm, I'm moving. You're, you're moving. The damn floor is moving like crazy. I'm just waiting for it to take me out the door. Right. I'm gonna call you a cab. Hello? Yeah, it's me. His name? Art von de... Hello? They hung up. Was it ten house or cabs? Yeah, I'm banned from the services. Right. Too big of a tab. I always get into one of the cabs and then jump out of the window to avoid having to pay. <laughs> you tried to find it, but you couldn't? I'm sorry, Knight. <laughs> sucks. Darn cricket. Don't worry, I'll just go to my office and sleep it off. It's nearby. Take care. Yeah, yeah. Phew, it's been quite the day. At least the streets are calm today. I have <laughs> arrived yet again at the <coughs> Oh god, at the Majestic Hall of Heroes. Calm until now. We meet again, bartender. You look winded, Virgilio. It's pronounced Virgilio. Virgilio. No, I'm pretty sure it's Virgilio. You said, said, said as much as last time you came. Pronunciations are a silly thing. Society imp imposes on letters. They want to be free. They want to be pronounced however they want. Hi, Ninetail. I'm sorry. You, you can't find the cricket. I'm sorry, dear. No, you couldn't find it. <sighs> Darn crickets. <laughs> you look winded, Virgili Virgilio. We're all little toys, winded by the cruel hand of fate. Just stumbling until it decides not to wind us anymore. And it... You're the only one in the vicinity hyperventilating. That's, um, 
I was jogging. Just like that? You know the region where I was, but I couldn't find it. Oh. <laughs> Is it still making noise? Yes, it can. What can I get you? Something fake. Of course. Something fake. Uh, eh? Something fake. Keeps going on and off. Oh. On the rocks that makes you say things. Think something of so balanced would actually taste nice if you did wrong. It's taunting. <laughs> Nothing but mammals after all. Guess I carve on two real. Frothy water? Jerry shows favorite beer in her status since 2040. I mean, frothy water sounds pretty fake. <laughs> Grantini? Is that fake? Sweet, classy, happy. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Hmm. I don't know. Type. Let's see. I'm gonna Google it. Okay, frothy water, okay. Let's go with frothy water then. I had Brunson powdered flangeride. Aged and mixed. Here. And this is totally not beer. Ah, yes. Just as fake as I want. Say, Virgilio, where do you work? I take the noble duties of curator at the Steampunk Museum. Really? What do you do? I study everything that comes that comes and keep it keep it clean for the people that visit the premises. But lately my duties have been hindered by the museum's owner. Really? Yeah, he told me stop touching the exhibits. You're gonna break them. The nerve of some people. Uh, eh? He still fails to realize that I'm the I'm the curator there. Without me, all those machines would be rustier than they already are. Even the visitors get that I'm the one responsible for those. Why can't the the owner realize that too? Yeah. Everybody treats you like a janitor or something like that. Exactly. Okay then, time for your next challenge, bartender. Challenge, he says. I want purity. What's purity? I can't give him pure ingredients, so... Um, pure... a gut punch? <laughs> e.
Oh, purity is any drink? Oh, 17 was giving him something, a drink with 17 ingredients. I see. All right, that's fine. Okay, so he just wants any drink. So we're gonna go with a Zen Star. <laughs> I don't think we've served it before. He has four of each ingredient. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rocks. And mixed. How is this pure? It's a drink. It's free from any human sin. It can do no harm consciously. Ah, yes. Beautiful. Ugh. Hmm? Hey, you. The guy over there. Me? Yes, you. Have we met before? Can't remember. Maybe? Yeah, I think... No, 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 no. We haven't met. Ever. At all. That's an interesting reaction. Uh, yes, Dana. Your sister is certainly cute. Can I leave, please? Fine. We discussed what we had to anyways. Careful out there. Thank God. Pleasure meeting you, Jill. Same to you, uh, Robert. Please come again. Bartender, if you're done... Oh Ogling Mr. Hollow Call suit. Hollow, hollow, hollow Call suit. Would you mind giving me a drink? Sure. What do you want? I want to leave. Bye, bartender. What? Huh? Second time he ran off like that. He's either hiding, he hiding here, or would rather not be found by the police. What do you think, Gil? I know nothing of it. Of course you don't. Are we done for the day? Yep, quite a few clans, considering the whole situation. Oh shit, the Regilio guy. So you two actually met before? Yeah, you could say that. What? 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 Gil stuff, don't mind it. What were we talking about to Brian? Well, we're, most, we're mostly catching up, to be honest. We were mostly catching up, to be honest. I didn't see him in a while. I offered him a drink when we met last week. I talked a bit about what to do after the bar closes. Oh, and I tried to uh, explain the situation with Robert here. He agreed to help me out with that one when the time comes. Ah. Oh. I was also tuning up the details for the new employee. New employee? A part-timer. You'll meet him tomorrow. Oh. Him? So it's a guy? An adorable guy, if I do say so myself. I suddenly have deja vu. Are you alright, Joe? Uh, yeah. It must be nothing. <laughs> okay, but I think we'll call it here. Ryan told me to give you this. $500? Nice. We made a mistake. Where did we make a mistake? When did we make a mistake? I'm so confused. Jill's a bit tense. Buying a shoulder massager would pre will prevent her from getting too distracted. Okay. PC Nanix, vintage game experience of the cumbersome load times. Uh, 
staff. Shoulder massager. Okay. The turn. Nice day. Wave back up. Save. Okay. Exit. Yes. Yes. All right. Let's find someone to raid. Uh, I don't know who's live right now. Let's see. Who we got? Lots of people, actually. Oh my goodness. Um. Let's see. Is anyone else playing Valhalla? One other person. I gotta wait for this ad. <clears throat> oh, why not? Okay, gotcha. Um, let's see. There's lots of people, actually. Thank you for being here, Lilith. I'll be live tomorrow. Uh, probably with Mass Effect 2. Um, maybe GTFO if um, the boys are available tomorrow. I don't think... I don't... I don't think so. <laughs> But, uh, we'll see. Okay, Lilith, it'd be good to see you, but you don't, by no means, have to stop by. <laughs> All right. Um... Maybe we'll raid Sylphie. Oh, thank you, Lil. <laughs> You're too sweet. Thank you, dear. Um... Okay. <laughs> um. We have we raided Siren recently? I can't recall if we have. We might raid this person because I think Thorn raided them and they're they're sweet. They're playing Phasmo. Okay, so do we want Starfield, Phasmo, The Walking Dead, or uh Ori in the Blind Forest? I guess <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Mm.
We have no preference. Okay. Well, we'll just raid Syl Sylvie. I haven't, I haven't seen Sylvie in a while. <laughs> They're playing Starfield. Starfield seems interesting. I don't know if I'll, I don't know if I'll play it. <laughs> I kind of want to play No Man's Sky. Kinda, if it ever goes on a good discount, I might pick it up. Um, but we've got enough games on our plate right <laughs> right now. <laughs> I can't really. I don't really have enough room to install more stuff because of uh, at least on my SSD anyway because of Mass Effect. It's Mass Effect Legendary Edition is massive, <laughs> so I don't even have enough room for Starfield. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Mass Effect, most likely. And uh, good night. Have a lovely rest of your night, evening. Uh, brush your teeth, drink water, eat something if you haven't yet. I love you all very much. Mwah. Thank you for being here. And uh, bye bye. Be nice to Sylvie. They're very sweet. And uh, I hope you find the cricket nine tail. <laughs> I hope you find it. Or it just shuts up. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. I'm gonna go drink some water. My throat's really dry. <laughs> Talking too much, I guess. I don't know. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.